as Simon and Caro flew back to Europe from Nairobi, I continued on my own again. Shortly after celebrating my 26th birthday, I left Nairobi. Along the endless tea plantations of Kericho, I cycled towards Uganda, the Pearl of Africa. Feels, still feels a little bit strange to be completely on my own, knowing that Simon and Caro are in Europe in a few days. Uh, but Caro gave me this shirt. Uh, she had been carrying it for a long while, and I think it suits me nice uh, as I'm continuing solo now. So when I was looking for a camp spot yesterday evening, a couple of boys uh, led me up the hill here. I think we pushed 10 minutes up this hill. Uh, but I have a nice camp. Found a nice camp spot here. Was a little bit, little bit busy yesterday with uh, all the children. Uh, but it's getting very, very populated in this area. So wild camping is very getting very hard. Um, now drying the tent a little bit. It's been very cloudy the last week pretty much These are the big tea plantations outside the city of Kericho. It's really vast areas of tea. And I hope today I can find somewhere, find a place to buy some nice green tea, hopefully. Ta -ta -ta. Look what I found. Some nice green tea locally produced in Kericho. Let's try some. So I am now in Dunga, uh, at the edge of Kisumu and it's the first time that I see the great Lake Victoria. A lot of fishing going on here, fish market there. Very nice vibe here. So what's left of the very small fish is dried and sorted here. I camped on this uh, church terrain this morning, although it looks more looks more like a school now with all the children around. Um, I have about 50 kilometers to go to Busia, which is the border town with Uganda, and then I hope that this afternoon I can cross the border into Uganda. 
it's a little bit tricky because since last week Uganda is in lockdown and there are restrictions on inter-district movements but from what I've uh, heard it does not apply to tourists so I hope that I will be enter will be able to enter into Uganda and will be able to travel within country uh, between counties Whew, fingers crossed I'm in Uganda didn't have too much uh, troubles at the border went quite easily and I already crossed the first county border within Uganda as well uh, despite the lockdown uh, where I read that the inter-county inter-county borders within Uganda would be closed but no problems there so far Along the rice paddies I cycle towards Kampala the capital city of Uganda Although I'm cycling through the countryside there are people everywhere and everywhere they are making their own clay bricks One of my favorite parts of cycling in Uganda is the abundance of fresh fruits. The endless roadside stalls with mangoes, papayas, avocados, pineapple, you name it. It is mouth-watering. It's my third night camping in Uganda here and it seems the camping places are getting better every time. Nice flat place here, a little bit in the forest. Uh, some, there's a gravel path here, there's some people walking or cycling by. Uh, like there's going somebody but they're very relaxed, they don't disturb, disturb you. Uh, a few days ago I was a little bit worried when they announced a total lockdown when I was in Kampala um, but I'm still very free to travel only got stopped once by a, at a checkpoint a district checkpoint uh, where they just asked me where I'm going and yeah no problems James Crossing I'm in the Kibala forest here uh, which is quite a special forest because it's the forest with the most chimpanzees in Uganda and uh, probably even in, in Africa there are around 1400 chimpanzees living here
at this massive, massive tree. <laughs> Don't think I ever I have ever seen such a big tree. They're quite curious. Maybe they're used to people throwing food or something. Not gonna give you anything. I guess he understood that. Staying in the town of Kasese in southwest Uganda, and today I found the time to go into the mountains again. Have a nice training day. Uh, so Kasese lies at the foot of the Ruenzori Mountains, which are also known as the Mountains of the Moon. Hello. So far the road was doable by bicycle, now it's just <laughs> slowly getting impossible. And I just asked a young woman if it's possible to, to go this road with the bicycle. She says a bit further it has been completely washed away by a landslide, so I think I will have to go back the same way. <laughs> I'm leaving the Ruenzori Mountains behind and I'm now cycling uh, through the Queen Elizabeth National Park. This road runs straight through the park, through the savannas on my left and right, where the elephants, lions, buffalo roam. So beautiful. The world is full of strange behavior. Every man has to be his own savior. I know I can make it on my own if I try. But I'm searching for a great heart to stand me by Underneath the African sky A great heart to stand me by
What a huge animal these buffalo are. of stars across the heavens There's a whispering song of the wind in the grass There's a rolling thunder across the savannah A hope and a dream at the edge of the sky And your life is a story like the wind Your life is a story like the wind I'm searching for the spirit of the great Come and see this big brother here. Looks a bit like a big rock. But it's a big hippo. This dog looks so happy. Better not make it too angry. There are a handful of villages right inside the national park and to go on these roads, these gravel roads to the villages, it is allowed without a paying entrance fee to the park. So I can basically cycle around freely here in this park with hippos, buffalo, elephants, even lions. Although at this time of the day, I don't think they will be very active, but amazing. For the next 100 kilometers, I will follow this dirt road through Queen Elizabeth National Park. And then at the end of it, I get to the next national park, which is the Windy Forest. And there I'm almost at the border with the Congo. That gave me an adrenaline rush. Just suddenly saw an elephant just, just right here by the road, in the bush. <laughs> and then when I came cycling by it, it, it went away, luckily. <laughs> uh, these creatures, you don't want to have chasing after you. Look at all this buffalo. What a... What an amazing road here. Thank you. 
just when I left my camping spot this morning three armed rangers appeared and uh, yeah they were not too happy that I camped there in the bush because they said it was very unsafe as like right where I camped it's the breeding grounds for lions and leopards uh, so yeah wasn't the uh, safest place to camp they said also it was not really allowed but they didn't make a big problem problem out of it also I didn't I didn't see any lions or leopards just once when I woke up in the middle of the night to pee I did hear some loud noises promises to be another tough day I'm cycling up to 2500 meters uh, taking at least 2000 elevation meters today and then I will we'll go to more or less the highest point of Windy National Park Hello. This is where I've been camping, didn't get as far today as I thought, didn't have too much energy and the road was very, very tough. So I'm now camping basically at the edge of these tea plantations, where the first ladies are already to work. And on that side of the road, it's where the national park starts, the Buindi Forest National Park. So still some climbing to go today, then a long descent to Lake Brignoni. Say it's quite tough. It's, it's an absolutely spectacular road here. Look at these views.
made it finally to Lake Bagnoni. I'll follow the lake for uh, maybe 20 kilometers, then go a little bit uphill and come back down to the lake. Hopefully I can stay there somewhere tonight. What a beautiful area here down at Lake Bagnoni. Found a place to camp here. I'm at a kind of camping, Camping Edirisa. And as you can see it's just right here by the lake. And this place has three boats to use. So I'm gonna take a canoe and explore the lake. It's a pretty huge boat, but that doesn't make it any faster. Top speed is about one and a half kilometers per hour, maybe. <laughs> but give me enough time to enjoy this spectacular landscape. Such a nice lake. Take my chances on these winding roads I'll go wherever the wild wind blows Cause if I'm gonna die, I wanna die an old ghost And I don't save my soul I'll take my chances on these winding roads I'll go wherever the wild wind blows Cause if I'm gonna die, I wanna die an old ghost Bye.